What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own stock scanners completely for free. And then I'm also gonna show you three stock scanners I built and that you can copy. So, uh, like I said, we're gonna run through how you can make scanners on your own. I'm gonna show you three I made. The three I made, I have one for hot penny stocks. I have one for buying, uh, basically buying the dips of good quality stocks. And I have another one for kind of following momentum of good quality stocks. So, uh, with that being said, let's get right into it, today's video. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to finviz.com, head over to the screener category, and then what I always like to do is click this all button right here. It'll just show you all of the options you might want to add. Um, you could add a ton of different factors. Um, some important factors I always like to add is price. That's always a big thing for me. If you're someone who doesn't like penny stocks, you can kind of filter those out right here. Or if you're someone who only likes penny stocks, you can filter that out right here. Um, I think a huge thing is volume. Um, basically, if you're a penny stock trader or no matter what type of trader you are, you're always gonna you're always gonna want to make sure that there's enough liquidity in the market. So a lot of times, if you do like over 300,000, that'll kind of weed out all of the illiquid stocks. I know some people only like to trade stocks from the USA. You could filter that out. Um, I know some people only like to trade stocks that are up today, so you could do that. And there's a ton of different things you could add. You could also do things like um, that uh, stocks that are breaking new highs by going to the signal category up here. And you can see on the charts, all of these stocks are breaking new highs, which is great to see. Um, and there's just really a ton of things you could add. Um, if you're more of a fundamental trader or fundamental investor, you can filter out by their price to price to whatever, price to book value, price to cash, um, a ton of different things. So um, here's all the options here. Finviz is completely free. They do have some paid options. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really like their uh, their website and I've been using them for a couple years now. So uh, definitely check it out and feel free to filter, th filter through uh, whatever you want to. Uh, one thing with Finviz that a lot of people miss out on is yes, we have all these cool factors up here, right? However, oops, I, let me go back over here. A lot of people kind of miss out on the part where you could like sort by valuation or like um, their financial position or just looking at their charts or technical analysis. So uh, definitely don't forget you could select all of these things right here. While we got that out of the way, let's get right into um, my scanners. So the first one with the penny stock is I like to filter by recent insider buying. And then let me go to the all category right here. I like to filter by price under $5. And this gives me a list of 19, which in my opinion, that's fine. But if we head over to the charts, um, this scanner most of the time gives you some pretty solid setups. I always like to um, just like look at the charts. I like how Finviz gives you a little preview. But the main thing about this scanner is to see recent insider buying. Um, I don't trade penny stocks too often, but um, when I do, I always like to make sure that the smart money is getting in too. And if we look at a stock like, I don't know, you could say CA, CASI, right? You could just click on it directly. And when you scroll down, it shows you that their CEO bought about $6.1 million into this play um, a couple days ago. So obviously that's a pretty, uh, pretty uh, bullish stance and that could be a great sign if their CEO is putting you know six million dollars of their own money into the company you would think that you know the stock might rise in the future and also if you look at you know their sector and their industry and then their chart you can see that they're bouncing off support right here at like two dollars so um, I really like the scanner um, of course you have to like mess around with it and find what works for you but I found that this scanner uh, tends to work pretty well. It's all about what types of setups you're looking for though. But like I said, uh, a big asset I like about this one specifically is how it has that recent insider buying. And um, you know, if the CEO of a company or a director or anyone that has any influence in the company is putting their own money into the stock, um, they're obviously bullish on it. That's the only reason they would put their own money into the company. Um, it, it could just be a good sign. So this is my penny stock screener. Feel free to copy it or do whatever you want with it. Um, the next one is the blue chip screener, which is basically for buying stocks that um, kind of like dip buying, you could say. Um, right here, we could see that I have the filter. I want it so the stock is up today. It has around a, it has around one million dollars in uh, average or one million shares in average volume. Um, they're down around ten percent on the week. Um, I realize in some markets this can be a little bit aggressive. So like if, if we're in a, like a really strong bull market, 
not too many stocks will uh, kind of pop up on this scanner. So sometimes you have to adjust it from instead of week down 10%, you could do like week down, let's see if we do like week down, or actually, no, I mean month down 10%. This will give you more results, but um, I found this one to work pretty well too. You can see all the charts. And I also like to filter blue chips by sorting the market cap from large companies above. Uh, basically, if they have a $10 billion market cap or higher, they will get counted on the screener. We can see that there are some pretty good uh, pretty good companies on this one. We see we have DraftKings right here. Uh, in the past month, it fell over 10%. Today, it's up. It's, a, it's in an ascending, uh, tri an ascending support uh, overall, which is good to see. We have CrowdStrike, um, CHGG. So we can just see um, it, it is calling out some pretty solid companies. And it's all about how you use it. Um, if you're someone who likes to dip by and kind of like hold these stocks for the long term, I think that would be the best way to go, um, even Etsy. So I, I really like this scanner. It shows a lot of good quality setups. Of course, you're always gonna you're always gonna want to make sure to do your own research on each specific play. But I think in general, this scanner does a pretty good job of not necessarily finding undervalued companies, but companies that got um, you know kind of beaten down in the past month and they're finally starting to rebound and my favorite thing to do is you're going to see an overview tab like this but if you just click on charts you can just scroll through all these companies pretty quickly and scroll through a bunch of different pages so i think it gets the job done pretty well for uh dip buying solid companies and then with the next one we have more of a momentum screener so uh, for this one i like to have the price above fifty dollars a share average volume around one million dollars i like the relative volume over one it just shows you that there's more volume than usual in this stock i like the change to be up at least two percent in the day and then lastly i like the change from open to be up um i found that like for example if we have a stock here like let, let's say i remove this um let me say let's say i, I do down if we have stocks like, let's say like MU, for example, if we go to the chart, um, yes, it has a lot of momentum, but since it opened higher and it ended up closing lower, sometimes that could be a bearish signal. So that's why I normally like to have the change from open also up. So I'm going to leave it like this, but we could see in general, basically every single one of these stocks has a lot of momentum and a lot of just like buying activity behind it. Like if we go AMAT, ATVI, like let me cycle through these real quick like they're kind of just exploding uh they look like great setups like atvi especially uh, if we go through more of them avgo uh, what's another one bill so let's pull these up avgo bill like they have a lot of momentum and you know you just have to kind of like filter through each place of course not every setup is going to be amazing let's look at crm it, like, it just has a lot of momentum. So um, I think these scanners can be great. I think they can be great for finding plays, um, but there's no magical screener. It's not like you, there's not, there's no magical scanner that exists that uh, will just find you, um, you know, amazing plays. But I think um, all three of these scanners do a great job at finding relatively high quality setups in the market. I don't trade penny stocks too often, but I feel like this is a good scanner, uh, especially considering the insider buying activity. I feel like the second scanner with the dip buys is great for someone who might be um, someone who buys shares and holds on for a couple weeks or a couple months, or even someone who likes to sell cash secured puts. And then the last screener would be more for someone who is kind of an active trader, someone who trades in the market every day or every week especially for day traders, I think this can be a pretty solid screener. So there's a ton of different things you could do on Finviz. Um, for example, like let's say you don't like how I have change up 2% and you want change up 5%. Feel free to mess around with any of my screener settings. Um, mess around with them, find what works for you. Um, I hope this video is able to help you, uh, one, learn how, to make learn how to make screeners, but also to uh, kind of get an idea on you know, the mindset for you know, what, what to look out for while making screeners. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. But other than that, thanks for watching.